everyone and welcome to the penultimate day of bookmas um so all the way through december we have posted a video every single day and this is the one before the end uh, i thought that a fun video for today would be to talk about all the books that i've skipped throughout the year of 2020 so these are books that we featured in tbr videos we said we were going to be reading and then we didn't end up getting to them things were going pretty smoothly until september happened um september was the month of bookopolathon hosted by becca and the book this is a month where you have a special Bacopoly board dedicated to the Bacoplathon. You roll, you pick a book, and then you read it. We decided that it would be a great idea to do live picking, so we rolled and we got the prompt and then we picked the book. And I did that a few times, and then Sean had to roll because we read some books, I'll read by myself, some books we'll read together. So he decided to do the rolls for our books and it was ridiculous so we ended up having to wipe the tbr and just completely start again so i think once things kind of spiraled out of control in september they got worse and worse throughout the rest of the year so there's quite a few books to talk about today but i'm hoping that i'll be able to catch up with some of them in 2021 especially as we do have a prompt in our punishment pot which is the book i skipped so if I pick that out, I can pick one of the books from this list. So this is a handy dandy resource that we can refer back to. And that's really the only reason that I thought you'd find this interesting. Because really, it's just me being like, look at all the books I didn't read. I mean, <laughs> I thought I'd done really well this year, but apparently not. So let's, without further ado, get on with it. The first couple of books that I can remember skipping in 2020 are Nightblood by Ellie Blake, which Sean says I actually, fin actually featured in a TBR. I had a feeling that I just kind of agreed in my head that I was going to read it, but apparently I did tell all of you that I was going to read it too, um, so that went well. I bought this book, new, on Book Depository, had it sent through, was like, I'm definitely reading it in February, never did, never read it, uh, can't see me ever reading it now. The next book I can remember skipping is Demon Road by Derek Landy, this was a TBR jar pick and it's very chunky, and we just didn't have time to squeeze it in. <laughs> And another book that we skipped quite early in the year was Burn by Patrick Ness. We were supposed to be reading this for the Owls Magical Readathon. Um, we were going to do like dragon training as like a separate bit. But then we realised we had to do it with the newts. And then the newts didn't happen as expected. So we didn't end up doing them. So Burn slipped through our fingers. So then we will talk about the books that we skipped in September. And this was the Bacopolathon stack. So the books we should have read for Bacopolathon were The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Glasson. The first book in the Mistborn series, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. And The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Which, as you can see, we did start. We did get, like, a little bit of the way into that one. Um, I've read it twice before and I've read it in one sitting both times. So I can't actually see us finishing this one now that we've started and not bothered continuing. The next book that we skipped that I can't actually remember whether we skipped it in September or October was The Words That Fly Between Us by Sarah Carroll. This was another TBR jar pick. Another book I'm hoping to get to fairly soon. Then we had some books that we skipped for read-alongs and some of these are embarrassing. So we were supposed to read Inheritance by Christopher Paolini for the Inheritance Cycle read-along. We managed to read Eldest and Brazinga, and I got to admit like Eragon five star, Eldest I think ended up being a four star, Brazinga ended up being a three star and I'm just terrified that this is going to be a two star because this is like chunky. 860 pages if it ends up being a two star i'm going to throw out the bloody window so i think i'm a bit apprehensive about reading this one but i am thinking of doing like a secret tbr video next year that this one would fit nicely into so you may see this in the future shifty shifty we've then also got vicious by v.e schwab we were meant to be reading this with the schwab read along um we managed to read the archived and the unbound we managed to read dark shade magic we skipped vicious and we skipped the invisible life of Addie larue because we're mistakes we messed up again hoping to get to this one eventually we then also got the two most embarrassing ones as we skipped A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings of Ruin, which we were reading for our own reads along, which we'd called A Coat Along. Um, we read A Court of Thorns and Roses and we ended up not enjoying it so much so that it nearly sent us into a reading slump and it took us like six weeks to read it and it's about half the size of the second one in the series. So if that one sent us into a reading slump, I don't think it's a great idea for us to try picking these up. But you can see I still got them separated out into their nice weekly segments and I was so excited about doing this read along. Um, I read the first book a few years ago and I gave it five stars and I loved it. So I thought this was going to be even better second time around. Um, but I'm not sure when we'll be getting to these. And it does mean that A Court of Frost and Starlight, which was supposed to be in January, is going to be one of the first books featured on our book Skipped of 2021 list, which is 
Great, we're already setting ourselves up for failure next year. Now we're jumping ahead to October. Um, so in October we decided to make our own TBR game called TBR Trick or Treat. Um, again, I'll link that down below. I'll link the Book of Fun video and all the details for the various other things that I'm going to mention later on. Um, in case you just want to see how bad TBR Trick or Treat went. Because basically, I kept picking out books that were for me and Sean to read together. And so I carried on picking books because I wanted to read some books by myself. And then I still didn't end up with any books by myself. So I had basically a month of free reading and we didn't manage to read all of these ones, which was just great. So in October, we skipped Zombie Angels by Darren Shan. I'm like, look how skinny that is. How did we not do that? To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini, which means we successfully skipped two Christopher Paolini books this year. We skipped The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. We skipped The Poppy War by R.F. Quang. We skipped Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and The Maze Runner by James Dashner, which we were meant to read and watch and was supposed to be a punishment pick. Um, we also skipped The Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth, which was on my Kindle. On my Kindle, which I don't have a physical copy of that one, but um, we'll have a picture of that up here, lovely for you. So hoping to get to some of those eventually. And we also skipped Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman, which is on my net galley, and I knew for a fact I was going to forget one here because there were so many physical ones that we skipped and also some non-physical ones. But we did manage to read It by Stephen King. It was the biggest punishment that came out of the punishment pot. It took us like three weeks and it meant we didn't read anything else, but at least we got that read. We then have four books that we skipped in November when we were participating in Believe-a-thon. Um, we managed to get all of the Believe-a-thon prompts ticked off, but we ended up having to double up on a few of them because we didn't manage to read Death Set Sail by Robin Stevens, Shadows of Winter Spell by Amy Wilson, The Midnight Guardians by Ross Montgomery, and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Not really that interested in Harry Potter anymore. Uh, I might read the rest of them at some point, hoping to read Death Set Sail sooner rather than later. The same with Midnight Guardians because that was on a couple of TBRs this month this month, this year, but I'm still considering unhauling the Harry Potter books and just not finishing them. There's just some part of me that's like, you've owned those books for like, oh god, like 15 years and you still haven't read them. And part of me still wants to, part of me doesn't want to. We'll see how that goes, we'll see how that goes. I also skipped uh, What We Left Behind by Robert, Robin Tarly and First Last Normals by Kim Lemon. These were two that I picked out in my TBR jar and I just didn't have time to pick them up. And the books that we've skipped from this month so far, <laughs> I mean there's only going to be a few of them, is Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan and Deborah Biancotti, This Love by Danny Atkins and also Tempests and Slaughter by Tamora Pierce. We decided, we had choose between finishing the TBR or doing our Goodreads reading goal and we decided to go for the reading goal instead so we've been reading a few shorter seasonal reads um you can't exactly push a Christmas book back until next month but we can push these back until a month at some point in the future um so we'll hopefully be picking those up at some point in 2021 and those are all of the books that we skipped this year quite a few of them I think there's 31 in total which is more than I would like there to be especially considering most of these are from the last four months of the year but it does give us somewhere to start looking at books in the future. It gives us a little challenge to try and overcome next year, to skip less books and to read some of the books that we did skip. So I'm not feeling too bad, actually. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you'd like to subscribe, then do. There's only one day of Bookmas left, but we're going to be posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday from here on out. So you'll continue to get regular content from both me and Sean, who is taking over my channel every Saturday for a Sean Saturday. Uh, we will see you again soon. Bye! See, there you go. When I'm not trying to rush it, I could do it in one segment. When I'm trying to do it quickly, it takes me longer. <laughs>